Christians came after Jesus, how could he be addressing the Christians? Okay, so you agree there were no Christians in his time, right? So how, no, you said he was addressing the Christians. Yes, it is. Busted. It is. Busted. Because who else? Who else prophecies in the name of Jesus the other Christians. than the Christians? But the Christians came after he has no Jesus. answer to that. Anyway, look. Hello. Maybe Hello. maybe it doesn't register yet. It's uh, it's got some issues, maybe. Okay. Any, any, is there anyone other than Christians who prophesy in the name of Jesus? Muslims. In the name of Jesus? Yes. Which Muslims? All of you. Give me the name of a Muslim. Muhammad. Prophesied in the name of Jesus? Yes. Okay, show me the evidence for that. Surah 4, 171. What does he say? <laughs> Actually, read, let's read that ayah. I love that ayah. Yes. Yes, I love that ayah. By the way, so Trinity, re remember what he said. I asked who prophesies in the name of Jesus. Muhammad. He said, Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad. When I asked for evidence, he said, Surah 4, 171. Should we read that ayah? Yes. It's going to backfire on you. Badly. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I will prove you are a liar. Just now, in front of the camera. What's the Trinity coming By the way, no wonder, no wonder you're hiding your face because you know that's what liars do. He's hiding his face. Who? See, at home in it. Who, who's, who's hiding? He's hiding his face. But he's, not behind the he's behind the camera. You're in front of it. So I've got my son ahead of my face. Yeah, you're, hi you're hiding it. Why is I have to hide okay. it? Here is Surah 141. No. No, no, wait. So, sorry, sorry. Surah 4, 171. Yes. Okay, do you want me to read it for you? Yes, please. Remember the question I asked him. Who prophesied in, which Muslim prophecies in the name of Jesus? Muhammad. He said, Muhammad. Jesus, he said Prophet Muhammad. Yes. Now let's see what chapter four, which is Surah An-Nisa 171 says. It says, O people of the scripture, do not commit excess in your religion or say about Allah except the truth. The Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah. What? He was a messenger of Allah. What? He didn't prophesy. It's nothing about prophecy here. So, this is, who's hey. got this prophecy? Who's got this prophecy? Don't lie. You've been, minute, you've been minute, caught. Minute. You've been caught. Who, who's giving Let this me finish. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know you who, are nervous now. Who is giving this prophecy? I know you're getting nervous. Wait a minute. Now you're Let getting nervous. It's finished. Okay. It's finished. Okay. The Messiah, Jesus, the who's son of Mary, was but a messenger of Allah who and his word which he directed to Mary and a soul Let created at a command from him. So believe in Allah and his messenger and do not say three, desist. It is better for you indeed. Allah is but one God. Exalted is he about having a son. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. To him belongs whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth. And sufficient is Allah as a dispos disposer of affairs. So Allah says here, that it is better for you indeed. Allah is but one God exalted is he above having a son. Does your God have a son? What's the question? Does your God have a son? Wait a minute. What was the question? That you use the what question. Was your question? Prophecy. Right. Who's prophesying there? It's a, it's a word of Allah. Wait a minute. But who's prophesying it? It's a word of Allah. Who's prophesying it? Nobody prophesying you. Muhammad. What? Busted. He busted again. He busted okay, again. So, so according to you, Muhammad prophesied that God doesn't have a son. Yes. Nobody prophesied about Jesus Christ. I said to Muhammad. Where is the word prophecy here? Is this not also a bit of a contradiction? Where is the word prophecy? Wait a minute. Who is that revelation revealed to? No, no, you said prophecy. Who you see how he's changed the revelation now? Who is that revelation? Because he realized that he's wrong. Who By the way, I was talking to the gentleman. Where is he gone? Say it's Allah. Okay. okay. Anyway. Who? Bro, you are busted. Go away. Who? Go away. Who is that revelation no wonder you lost. He's busted. So 4171 goes against this guy. And he says to you, for the Christians, this is a message to the Christians that God doesn't have a son. Do you believe that is true? What happened? No words. <laughs> stuck. You're stuck now. No, no. Ask that question again. I don't understand that question. Of course, you don't understand. Shall I say it again? Does God have a son? Does God have a son? Yes. Because I just heard you. I just heard you quoting the Bible. And you was called. You were saying Jesus is calling God the Father. So if Jesus is acknowledging he's got a father, that means he must be the son. Okay. Why not so a daughter? Just, sorry. Why not a daughter? Because you don't need a daughter, you need a son. Why does he need a son? To save us from our sins. Oh, he cannot save you otherwise. No, we don't need a stone to save us, we need a man. Actually, we, we don't need, need a stone. A... Yes, you do. No, we don't. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Why did you kiss God? the black stone? Oh, we don't. if you kiss the black stone, is that the only way we can be saved? Liar. No, I didn't ask you that. No, I'm, I'm telling you that. Says, because you said, you said we need the stone. We don't need it. He just confessed. It's not the only I didn't confess way anything. Oh, by the way, it's not by the, way, only the chapter way which you told me to, sorry, the ayah which you told me to read, yes. it says Allah doesn't have a son. Who says, says that? Allah. Who, yeah, Allah says, says the, that? the very passage you asked me to read. Yeah, he created. Allah doesn't have a son. No, Allah doesn't need a son. Allah doesn't need a son. Because Allah. Unlike your God. My God is independent. 
His God needs a son, and that too. Why? To save him, like he said. So Can you be saved without a human sacrifice? Why is God need perfect? <laughs> Look how he's changing the topic now. Look how he's changing the topic. If God is independent, if God is self-sufficient and independent, why? Who said he needs a? He says, who says he needs prophets? Who said he needs prophets? Who said he needs prophets? Wait a minute. You just said that God is No, no, no. You claim. Wait a minute. No, no, no. You claim that God. By the way, God, calm down. God, calm down. God, I know speak. you all worked up because you, you lost claim, the argument. You There's claim, no prophecy here. You claim. Yes, nothing that God here. God is self-sufficient. Yes. So why does he need prophets? Why does he say he needs prophets? Okay. That's your claim. But God is self-efficient. He doesn't need no help for nobody. He doesn't need any help. So why are you sending prophets? He sent prophets because... Why? I'm answering you. Go ahead. Calm down. You said he needs prophets. There's a difference between him needing a prophet and sending a prophet. Now I'll tell you the, I'll tell you the wisdom behind sending a prophet. Because you see, if Allah sends angels to us, you know, in Islam, angels never disobey God. The difference between humans and angels is the fact that angels are created from light and men are Angel. created from can i finish oh. yes men humans are created from clay Iblis and the jinn are created from fire however if allah sent down angels to give the message to us then you know on the day of judgment the humans will have an excuse let's what say but hold on these were angels they are unable to disobey so they're not like us god you have been un you have been unfair to us but when allah sends human beings as prophets then they cannot have an excuse on the day of judgment because the prophets are human and so are we if the prophets are able to keep the commandments then so are we. But you see, in his religion, the only way he can be saved is by the human sacrifice of an innocent man. Mm. Am I right? That's Abraham. Okay, Abraham law. What Abraham law? That's Abraham. It. Where is the human sacrifice in Abraham? Abraham it. All through the whole Old Testament. Where is the human sacrifice? All through the whole I'm Old asking Testament. you in the case of Abraham. All through the whole Testament. Answer that. Show me. Jesus Christ is the final sacrifice. No, no. Where is the sacrifice in the case of Abraham? Where is the human sacrifice? All, how do we get our sins forgiven? In all the days before Jesus Christ. There was no human sacrifice. There wasn't human sacrifice. How did we survive? Do you agree there's no human yes, sacrifice? There wasn't. Good. Thank you. Right. But don't forget. Can you be forgiven without human sacrifice? Yes. So it's not the same as the Old Testament. Because I agree. Don't forget. I rest my case. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's not a case. That's not a case. That's not a case. <laughs> that, is, that is actually case in your case dismissed. <laughs> case closed. He just busted. He just, he just, he case closed. It. Case closed, my friend. You can go home and cry now. All your tactics and antics. Oh, you off. can go home and cry. You just said that God is self-sufficient. He doesn't need no help. He doesn't nobody. actually. He doesn't. But every year, or every couple of years, he sends the prophet. It was not bad. Every couple of years. It's where did he get that from? That he had to send Muhammad to create. Where is it? Every couple of years, he sends. Somebody he saw it himself. Okay, I've just answered the question. No, Were you listening? Did you no, listen? Wait a no, wait a I gave the answer let why you need human prophets. Let me read. Both why we need prophets? Let me show you again why he's lying. Let me show you again why he's lying. Why am I lying? Gone. Let me show you again why he's lying. Yeah, gone. Remember the debate between Moses and Adam? Yeah, what was the debate? When Adam was meant to bow down, did Adam disobey Allah? No. Adam did bow down. It was a Satan who didn't bow down. He doesn't know. The guy is so ignorant, he doesn't even know the story. Yeah, go on, story. sister. What is it? You want to ask something? Yeah. What is did it? Adam, wait, wait. No, 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 you're lying. Don't wait, don't wait. Okay. Don't be stubborn. What did, did I lie? Adam, did Adam refuse Allah's order to no, bow down? No, he did not. So why did Adam bow down? Oh, sorry, why did? I, wait a minute. Wait why a minute, did who? Wait a minute. Adam, He's all over the place. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Why didn't? Okay, who did not bow down? Say, Satan bow Thank down. Thank you. Did Adam bow down? No, he wasn't Adam. He was so he did not disobey God no, in that. He was meant to bow to Adam. So why did he not bow to Adam? Who did not bow right. to Adam? Allah asked all the angels. Yes. To bow down to Adam. Yeah, it's the angels. Agree. Right. Not Adam. You said Adam did not bow Allah down. Allah yeah. asked all the angels. Yes. To bow down to Adam. Yes. And Iblis. Why didn't Iblis bow down? Because Iblis is disobedient. What's wrong with this guy? Just, don't, don't understand. <laughs> He's disobedient. You just said that no angels. But oh, Allah. I see. I see the problem. You know where the problem is? He thinks Iblis is an angel. Am I right? Am I right? This is what you call it. Do you believe Iblis is an angel? Yes. See what I mean? I call an angel. He doesn't know Islam. I do know he's, Islam. He's actually reading from the Bible no, and he's juxtaposing. I know, I know you don't call them angels. No, no. Allah, Allah says angels. in the Quran that Iblis, he's from the Nar, Minan yeah. Nar. Okay? Yeah. That means he's created from the fire. Yes, from, I know that. Who's created from the fire in the Quran? Yes. The jinn, not the angels. Yeah. Angels are created from? I don't know. From light. You don't know. You're ignorant. So let me teach you. Because what you're doing is you're reading the Bible into the Quran. Angels created from light. Yes. Angels are not created for light. In not in the Bible. In Christianity, angels are spirit. I agree. Not in Christianity. Angels are not. But I'm answering as a Muslim. 
from the Quran. Do you agree? Can, but I'm Wait, do you now agree you're ignorant about the Quran? No, I'm not. You just got oh, proven no, that no, you lie. You know where I'm you not. You just got caught you know lying. Why? Because the way you just said, I knew already. Okay, already once again. I don't have to our, recall everything. Our angels in Islam created from light. Angels are created from fire. As far as, as, far as I understand. Uh, once again, he lies. Listen to me. It doesn't matter. You don't know the Quran. Don't just stop. say so, Listen man. Come on. Listen just say me. so. Listen to me. Just say so. I am not stop about, embarrassing yourself. I am not worried about what you're, you're, trying, to, you're trying to make. It no, but you asked me from the Quran. You're trying to use a different tactic. No, I'm using I'm the Quran. To your point. My tactic you is, said. If my tactic is the Quran, then you're right. You <laughs> said that no person. What did I say? No angels. Disobey God. Disobey God. Yeah, I agree. In, in Islam, that is the case. Because according to you, the shaitan or the iblis is an angel. In Islam, yeah. the same term angel is used, okay? Yeah. But in Islam, the shaitan or iblis yeah. is from the jinn, yeah. which is a different yeah. creation from the angels. Yeah. Okay, good. Now no, we have no, got no. that. No, you didn't know that. I guess I do. You got school just now. No, I didn't. Yes, because you did. I've been watching the Christian prints and what Christians for last 10 <laughs> No years. wonder you're, you're no, confused. No, yes, because I just okay, I'll tell you what. That's right. I'll tell you what. You I'll tell you what. This this particular video will be on Dawah Wise. Uh, yes. You go home and look at your video. Yes. Yes. You will realize that you didn't know the angels were created from light and the jinn from yes, fire. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now, yes, now, I do. now that now that I've educated you, I now you know. The no problem. No problem. I was the by the by the way, by the way, you asked me from the Quran. Yes. Okay. But, so when you ask from the Quran, yeah. no, even no, if you even if you are representing as a Christian, mm -hmm. when you ask me a question from the Quran, I will respond according to the Quran. Am I right? Yes. Now you see earlier we were talking about dependency and independency. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me ask you this: According to Christianity, where did the sun come from? The sun. Who generated the sun? What sun? The sun in heaven or the, the sun? The, the sun. Uh, I'm the sun. S O N or S U N? I'm, no, no, the son of God. Who generated the Son of God? Who generated it? What do you mean generated it? Who's that generated? You, you, this is a trick question. Because the word of God is eternal. Actually, that is that is a word they, they use Allah. in the creed no, 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 of no, Christianity. No, 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 no. He doesn't no, know that. You want me to answer. You just ask yeah, me. Yeah, go on. Ask me answer. Something. Go on, go on. Can I ask? Yeah, go on, ask. You say that uh, you don't need sacrifice to be... Yeah, we don't need human sacrifice to be forgiven. Allah Quran is a great sacrifice. Let me find that verse. Let me find that verse in the Find it, no problem. What is it? I'll create a great sacrifice. You, you uh, do you mind? She's trying to say no. something. How then you serve? Got that one. How can we get saved? Okay, so in in Islam, in Islam, we do not believe in any human or animal sacrifice to be saved. Allah gives you commandments, brother, brother. I'm, I'm trying to respond. I'm talking, sorry. Yeah. So I'm trying to respond to the lady. So. When you are obedient to Allah, then Allah will reward you and grant you Jannah. When you're disobedient to Allah, finish, He does not need any human or animal sacrifice like the way you Christians believe. Is that clear? Yeah. Good. Did Abraham... Okay. So, Quran. Yeah, Quran. go on, go on. Abraham, what? Quran. Yeah, okay. So, do you think that you going to you? Okay, f you're, asking me if, if, you're asking me if I or anybody else go to heaven? You. Yeah, yeah. So, we, minute, wait a minute, I'm about... Yeah. Let me answer. Let me answer the question. Yeah, go on. Yeah. What about the ten commandments? Okay. First and foremost, when you say obey all the laws, we well, I'm asked, of course, as a human being. And I'm responding to you as a human being. We try our best to obey God. Okay. God doesn't say that if you don't obey all the laws 100% that you will go to hellfire. Allah is merciful. He's able to forgive you your sins. The only sin he doesn't forgive is shirk, which means shirk, which means associating partners with Allah. Like the way the Christians believe that God has a son that is associating partners with Allah. This is the shirk which Allah will never forgive. But every other sin he's able to forgive because he's merciful. Now let me ask you this question. Can you as a Christian be saved without a human sacrifice? No. No. Need Why does sacrifice. your God need a human sacrifice? Because, because the blood. me, yeah. even though I try my best, yes. I will never be my God. You'll never be? I'll never fulfill his 
command as a human being okay. because I'm flash. I well, can do everything. Let's say. Okay. I can, but I, I would lie. Okay. So you're saying you cannot fulfill so all I the. Lie. That's fine. The you're saying you cannot keep all the laws. Where in the Bible does it say that until and unless you keep all the laws, you will never be forgiven? Because the Old Testament was like that. that uh, show me where. Show me a passage. Even in the Old Testament. Why show me a passage. When they sacrifice animals. No, no, I'm asking you. Show me a passage. No, no, you don't have to remember the exact words. Show me something close to it. Because you see, this is a Christian misconception that unless and until you keep all the laws, you will not be forgiven. No, that's not Christian. No, because we know we can't keep it. So we don't, that's not our perspective. We know okay, we so can it. God forgive you if you do not keep laws? Yes, he can. Okay, so why does he need a human sacrifice then? Because forgiveness doesn't get rid of sin. Why not? Man, what does it mean? I'm going to explain to you why. Yeah. You commit rape. Yeah. You go into a front of a judge. Yeah. You've done a million good things. Yeah. The judge can forgive you, but you're still a victim. There still have to be justice. Yeah. Okay. So that you still have to pay for that yeah. judge. That, that, that Actually, it's a good example you gave. Yeah. Wait. So. By the way, I'm wait, glad. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, go, go. So that sin stays with you till judgment day. Okay. So, can I can I respond to that? Wait a minute. So okay. at judgment day, you still have to account for that sin. Good. Can so I respond? Why, can I respond? Just, no, 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 that's why. Yeah. You have okay. to. Have By the way. Here. If any judge forgives someone for rape, there is a bad judge. Do you agree? Like Do you Islam. agree? Like Islam. No, no, Islam, we don't. No, there is no punishment for rape in Islam. Of course, there's there death is penalty no in Islam. There is no punishment for rape against a woman in Islam. <laughs> there is death penalty in, for rape. What are you on no, about? No, it's not. What are you on about? You're lying. You're lying. Once again, you're lying. Show, you Show you what? Show me the definition for rape in Islam. It's in the hadith, it's Show clear. Me. Of course. Oh, it's in the hadith. Of course it's in the hadith. We believe in the hadith, it's part of Islam. By the way, what is the penalty for a Christian who rapes? Death. Where is it in the Bible? Show me. Where is it in the Bible? Just one minute. You know that as well. Stop. <laughs> uh, I don't like Where it. is it, man? Like you it. lied. You no lied. Matter. And he knows that there's no punishment. Where for is rape. the punishment for rape in the New Testament? In the ten By the way, you know in the New Testament, there is, no there is no punishment for rape. There is no. By the way, I was going to explain to you. By the way, I was going to explain to you the example you gave about the judge. Now listen to this example, which I'm going to use your own example. Now imagine that. There is a convicted rapist in front of the judge. Mm. Yeah, a convicted rapist. That means they have got all the evidence against that person yeah. who raped somebody else. Of course, there's a victim. So you got the you got the criminal and you got the victim now. Yeah. The judge who is overlooking this particular case. Yes, he says, I'm going to not punish this no, rapist. No, no, he changed his words. He said the person still needs to be punished. Habibi, I'm, yes. yes. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. He's trying let to be me, clever. Let me finish. Oh, let me finish. Skillful. Okay, so skillful. so the judge. <laughs> wait, wait, let me finish. Let, let me finish the analogy. Let, finish. let me finish the analogy. So the so the judge says, I'm not going to punish the rapist. Why? I'm coming to that. You she asked she asked a good question. Why? Why, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take my son who's completely innocent and punish him. Yeah. Is that fair? That's not what happened. Is that fair? Oh, go on, go on, answer. Is that fair? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Is that fair? It's the same thing. You see, they won't answer this question. Are you a charge for a crime? Has somebody pay your fine? Can you answer my question? Is that fair? Somebody pay your fine. So, is it fair to kill the son of the judge? If you commit a crime, In that example I just gave. Not if the judge gives his son willfully. Will that be fair? Not if the judge gives the son willfully. Oh, so if the son, if the son willfully agrees to the punishment, it's fair. No, I said if the judge gave the son willfully. Okay, like so God so loved the world that He's given His only. So you're saying, son, imagine, imagine you are the son. Whosoever believe in Him. Wait, wait. Imagine you're the son. Sorry, you are, you have a son and yeah. you're the judge. Yeah. Yes. You there's a rapist standing in front of you. Yeah. You will say, I will, I will willfully kill my son for the punishment of that rapist. Will you do that? You're making a Will you do that? Analogy. No, no. Oh, see, analogy. now it became false. Because All of a sudden. The guy's not sincere. You're doing sure. The guy's not sincere. Sure. Because he's trying to compare. Okay. By the way, you said it was he's fair. Wait, wait, wait. You no, gave no, your no. answer. You're done. You're done. You're done. You said it he's is fair to, to kill the son. With Allah. It doesn't that's work. Now, he's trying to compare. Second World War, yeah. there was a lot of young people died. Yes. What has World War got to do with? Uh, no, it's for freedom. No, no. I'm asking if you were the if you were the judge. Listen, listen. If you were the judge, would you give your innocent son? Would you kill your innocent son for the crime of a rapist? You would. Why is that would justice? That? It's justice? Is that justice? Because to save what has your What has your innocent done to deserve death? What? 
What has your, the guy was a rapist, he deserves death. What has your innocent son done to deserve death? That God killed Jesus. Wait, wait, answer the question. No, 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 I'm not comparing. I'm using, I'm, I'm looking for your understanding as a sincere human being that you, that you, that you, you would punish your innocent son for the crime of a convicted criminal like a rapist. People sacrifice their lives. Yeah? Your innocent son. Why didn't you sacrifice yourself? Why did you give your innocent son? Why? God came and sacrificed. Why did you not give yourself instead of you giving your stop shouting by you? I'm talking. Have some respect. Have respect for the lady. She's a Christian. Okay? So I'm asking you, why didn't you sacrifice yourself instead of sacrificing your innocent son? No, you're not God. No, because God you're not God. About me. You have to talk about you. I'm talking English. I'm speaking English. I asked you, why didn't you sacrifice yourself instead of giving your son as a death penalty, uh, giving a death penalty to you your son? That question. You're trying to make him to be God. Yes, you're not God. because you will look foolish you like him if you answer. You can, you, you can you answer the question, please? Why did you not sacrifice it. your own self? Why were you, why were you selfish? And and de demanded for your son to be because he's saying you're not God, you're not God. I'm talking about you. This is the third time I'm asking the question to you. Yes, you as a human being. Yes. They will never give one son to another. No, no. I'm asking. I'm asking you. Remember the analogy I gave was about you as a judge. If you were a judge, yes, and you loved as a mother, you loved your son, but you would actually be willing to give your son as a penalty. Instead of the rapist, but my question is, why didn't you give yourself? I raised to myself. Why did Allah kill Jesus Christ? Because you have no answer. Why did Allah kill Jesus Christ? Because you, as a human being, you would be selfish, yeah? You would give your son instead of you. Is that what you would do? So, what would you do? Would you give yourself or the son as a punishment? Exactly why? Because you cannot be more just than God Almighty. You know, a just God would never kill an innocent man for the sin of a convicted criminal, rapist, murderer, whatever it is. This is the justice of God. He will never be unjust to anyone. But their God kills an innocent man and that they consider it to be just. God did not kill an innocent man. Was Jesus not innocent? I give up my own life. Was he innocent? I lay down and I pick it was up. Was he innocent? I, yes, he was innocent. So why is that not innocent man then? And he came because we need an innocent <laughs> he lamb. He just said he was we an innocent. Fighting. We need an innocent lamb. Listen to me. We have the sacrificial, the sacrifice from Moses, all, from Abraham all the way down. All the temples. Abraham Jesus didn't, Christ. What was the sacrifice of Abraham? You, you tell me as the Muslim. No, you said it. No, you tell me. <laughs> Abraham didn't have any sacrifices. Yes, David made for, sacrifices. Oh, why went to David? Because you realized yes, you lost David it. So you, you were lying about Abraham. Yes, Solomon, Solomon why are you lying about Abraham? Yes, Solomon made sacrifices. Why are you lying about Abraham? Yes, Abraham took his son and put him. What did Abraham done finish to his it, son? Finish it, go on. What did Abraham done to his son? What did he do? Nothing. Oh, Nothing. Okay. Yeah, tried to. This but did not. This is the lies of Islam. No, because that was a so test. Lies, Islam dies. That was a test. So lies, Islam dies. Without lies, so Islam lies, thrives. Islam dies. Thrives. <laughs> okay. So now, the reason he stopped at Abraham is because he realized he was telling a lie. No. Abraham never sacrificed his son. I said, what did he do? Why did God ask him to do that? That's test. What it was a test from God. Yes. Why, why, did you, why did he choose that test? I just told you, test. But why yes. did he choose that no, test? No, no, no. You don't choose test. God gives no. you the test. I said, why did God choose that test? Because God wanted to test that Abraham was a righteous man. And by the way, it was, a t it was not because God didn't know he was a righteous man. It is in the eyes of the people that he was willing to sacrifice his most beloved thing, which was his own son. But the thing is, you see, because of the mercy of Almighty God, mm -hmm. there was no human sacrifice involved. The only human sacrifice involved is the pagan Christians. Because only pagan gods require human sacrifice. Pag okay, pagan by the way, Jazakallah khairan, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We don't have to kiss a stone to yes, forgive do. oh, we No, don't. it takes sex. Why, no. is it, why, why is it black? Okay, I'll tell you. Why is it black? What, what's wrong? Why is the black why, you got a problem black? with the black stone? Why is it black? What's wrong with black stone? Why is it black? Why not? Answer the question. Why not? Why is the black stone black? Okay, first and foremost. No, no, no. I'm why is the black stone black? I'll answer the way I want, not the way you want. it takes your sins away. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. Allah takes the sins away. Well, Omar says, oh, Allah forgives the sins. If I did not see the Prophet kiss you. Go on, finish it, finish it. If I did not see the Prophet kiss you. Finish it. Finish it. I would not fucking do it. I only kiss it because I see the Prophet does it. Yeah. I wonder, no, no, what did he say before that? 
And who? What did what and did who? What did Omar say before who that? Was this, this guy's lying. Stones before Islam. By the way, shall we tell who you? was worshiping stones before Islam? The pagans. The pagans, yeah, the like same place. Yeah, in the Kaaba. And who was burning humans? Nobody. Pagans. Baal. Muhammad. Baal worshippers. Run away now. Run, run, run away. Run, you run, shaitan. Run, run away run. like a shaitan. By the way, it was the Baal worshippers in oh, the Bible. Baal worshippers. We don't That's worship the stone. stone. We Before worship only Allah. Stone. By the way, shall I show you stone worshipping in the Bible? And in the day of judgment, the black stone, just the stone, will testify for Muslims. Yeah, and have an eyes and have a tongue, yeah. and it will give command for you. But who Am will I forgive? Lying? But who will forgive? Am I lying? Who will forgive? Am I lying? Who will forgive? Run away, yeah, pagan. Answer. Pagan, pagan, lies. pagan run away. <laughs> By the way, look, the black stone, as he said, he actually quoted the hadith, but half of it. Omar radiallahu anh said that he would not kiss the stone if he did not see the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, kissing the stone. And what, he said the stone has no power to either harm me or to do any, anything good to me. Okay? okay, neither benefit nor harm comes from the stone. That means Omar radiallahu is telling you, declaring, Clearly, that only benefit and harm, there's nothing from that stone. What? The only one he worships is Allah. The reason we kiss the stone is because it's a sunnah, not because we worship it like these pagans who worship so a human don't being. Take the sin away. Allah takes the sin away, not the stone. The sin away. No, not the stone. So it does, it does, does it confess for you? Does it confess for you like the Quran? Can I? Judgment Day. Contest? Professor Allah for you. Sorry, what is it? Does the stone yeah. testify about you, the Allah? Yeah, not only the stone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, I'm answering. I'm a, the, the no, 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 I'll answer the way you want. The stone, not the way the pagan no, wants. No, I don't change my question. Does the stone okay. testify for you in Allah on the Day of Judgment? Yes, it does. So it's useful? Yes, of course it's useful. So what are you saying? <laughs> that's why it's a, that that's why it's a special said, stone. So if the prophet didn't touch it, I didn't see the prophet touch it, kiss it, I will not, okay. because it have no use. Can I answer now? But the, okay. The so the stone. Takes, wait, wait. The stone Actually, the stone will important. testify. He's right. The stone will testify. However, the stone is not the one doing the forgiving. It's always Allah. The, the no, act. Please, wait, wait. wait. You know what else? What else forgives your sins? When you when you do wudu, the water that falls off your arms, your limbs, your sins are forgiven. Does that mean you worship your arms? No, it doesn't. So only a foolish man will so, say we worship the stone. Stones and water can take your sins away, but Jesus can. A stone doesn't take the sin. Allah takes the sins away. You're lying. Stop I'm not. I said, Stop you know what else? What else? Stop what lying. else forgives your sins? Stop when lying. a thorn. Stop when a lying. I'm not. You're, you're the one. Lying. You're the one lying. You know you're lying. Pagan, go away. Because you know what he just said. Human worshiper. He just admitted that the stone is going to testify for him on the day of judgment. But yet, before he was testify saying, doesn't mean you worship. Before he was saying, the guy doesn't know what testify means. Useless. Your hands will testify. Your legs will testify. You have to. Okay. Your eyes you're will lying. testify for you. All you're these lying. things will testify. It doesn't mean we worship it. Muhammad will testify for you. The Quran will testify for you, and the black stone will testify for you. Stop lying. Nobody will testify. You got busted. You, Go away now. Yeah. Okay. By the way, Stop lying. testification doesn't mean worship. It yeah. means an act you do, and that act. The stone or your arms or your limbs or even the Quran on the day of judgment, it will come as it will come to testify either for you or against you. It's but, just doing something. But you see, human sacrifice. Uh, useful then. You know who used to it's commit useful. who committed human sacrifice in the Old Testament times? I don't know. Baal worshippers. Who? Baal worshippers. Baal worshippers. You know who are Baal? who's Baal? He's a false god. Yes. Pagan, like that's, you guys. No. Yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sin for that Muhammad works. By the way, can you... That's a sin. You know, god. earlier when I asked him, god. can you be forgiven the without human sacrifice? The crescent and the moon. Yeah, what about that's it? That's the same god that you worship. The same where, Baal. Oh, wait, wait. The where, same does it, Baal. where does it say Baal worship the moon? The same Baal that you go to the Kaaba. He's the main god. Whom do we worship in the Kaaba? Yes. The same god. Whom do we worship in the Kaaba? Don't, Don't forget. <laughs> He has no answer. Oh. By the way, you know when you're standing in front of the Kaaba, we don't worship the Kaaba. We say Allah Akbar. We don't say Kaaba Akbar. We, we say, say Allah Akbar. Who is Allah? The God of Jesus. Wait a minute. The God of Moses. What's the God what? of Abraham. The God of all the prophets. By the way, your God had a God. Do you know that? Wait a minute. Jesus had a God. What's the definition of worship? Worship means obedience to God. No, in the no, sub no, no, no. Submission. What's no, I didn't ask you what it does. What's the definition of worship? Worship means to show obedience. In a way, what? which no, no, no. I'm no, giving no, you the what, answer. And I ask what I mean the definition. What does worship mean? How do you worship somebody? How do you worship? When God? you when you worship someone, yeah. you have to give your willingness. You're willingly submitting with with your full heart, with mm -hmm. your full mind, with your full intention. Yes, like the way you worship a man. 
Okay. Now you hear what he said. Exactly, the pagans used to do the same thing. Let me worship a man. I like those. You do. And you all probably say also like the Catholics worship Mary. Yeah, the Catholics do. No, the Catholics bow down to Mary. Yeah, they do. In in the church. And they pray to Mary. In the church. They pray to Mary. Do you know that? So you do the same to the Kaaba. Why does it? Why does anybody say we? Which Muslim says we pray to the Kaaba? to me. You're a liar. Abraham. Abraham. Yeah. Rules said we do not take stones. We do not worship stones in the Bible. There's no part of the Bible we have stone worship. Do, do you believe David is a god? Uh, we do not have do believe, stone worship wait, in the Bible. Do you believe David was a prophet of God? Yes. Who, did David face the temple and pray to it, bow down to it? Yes. But who was there in the temple? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who was in the temple? Did you hear that? No. Did you hear that? No, sorry, mate. Did you hear that? No, no. Oh, no. so who was in the temple? Yes, we bowed to the spirit that was in the temple. Where does it say the that? He was not where does it say temple. that? Not the body. Not where the does it say that? Well, oh, come on. Show me where it says that. Come on. But then, do, you, do you believe your God lived in the temple? Yes. <laughs> Bro, come on, yes. man. That's your God. Your, your Bible says that no temple can hold him. Yeah. Okay? That is what the Bible what says. The Bible says. But he's saying his God lives in the temple. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit dwells within the temple. Where does he say that? Show me where he says that. Who dwells in the temple? No, no, you show me. You made a claim. Show me that. I can't. Listen, the Bible says show the me Holy the evidence. Spirit Show me the evidence or you're lying. Temple. Or you're lying. Show me the evidence or you're telling lies. I know. I have no internet. Okay. My phone is dead. But, by the way, look, if you think your God can fit in a temple, that's your problem. No, no. Wait, wait a minute. What, what God we have? It's God a spirit. The God in Christianity is a spirit. Your God, the is God a, in Christianity. Je Wait a minute. Jesus was the flesh. God in Christianity is a spirit. But, Je lying? but Jesus we worship was God in spirit Jesus, and in truth. Jesus was flesh. We worship God in spirit and truth. Yeah, but Jesus was we flesh. We worship God. We worship Stop the Father. Repeating yourself. We worship the Father and? in the name of the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do you okay. understand that? We worship the Father yeah. in the name of the Son by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do you worship the Son? Yes. Yes. Do you worship the Son? Yes. Did you, do, do you worship the Holy Spirit? Yes. Whom did Jesus worship? <laughs> Who did Jesus worship? Yeah. The Father. Yeah, why? <laughs> why? Because why he's only the Father? father? Because he's a human. But what? And as a perfect exactly. human. Exactly. As a perfect human, he still has to do human things. He was born and he died. Very good. So he was a perfect so, human. So, so as a perfect human. Good. Wait a minute. As a perfect human. Yeah. Whom did he worship? As a perfect human. Whom did he worship? As a perfect human. Yeah. Whom did he worship? As a perfect human. Yeah. To set the perfect example. Yeah. Whom did he worship? As a perfect human. Stop repeating like a broken record. Let me finish. As a perfect human. Yeah. To set the perfect example, he had to show us how to worship. And whom did he worship? He worshipped the Father. Thank you. So as a perfect man. Yes. As a perfect human, yes. as a perfect role model, yes. he worshipped only one person, the Father. No, no, Who no, do you no. worship? No, no, no. You no, said no. it. You, you said, said it. Wrong. You, you said, said it. Wrong. You, you said, said that it. wrong again. I, I, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said that wrong. Yeah. Join the queue, mate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You said that wrong. By the way, I need to go. So wrap it up quickly. Wrap it up quickly. Don't use the word person. What do you want to use? Entity? Shall I use entity? No, 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 no. What do you want me to use? Worship. Okay, he worshipped only the Father. Yes. Okay, whom do you worship? The Father. Only the Father? I, I worship all three. The Father, <laughs> the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Which means you don't follow Wait Jesus. Minute. You Wait don't follow the perfect Jesus example. Said, go to all nations. You do not follow the perfect example. Them. You follow the church. all nations. Baptizing them don't change the, the topic. Of the Father, don't change the topic. The Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, baptizing doesn't mean you worship all three. Jesus, you said the perfect example, the perfect human being, yes. the perfect role model, worship yes. only the Father. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. I'll let you speak. Mm. Only the Father you worship, which means only one entity, only one person. You don't have I know you don't like you don't like the word, yeah. but you worship only the Father, not the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Do you agree? No. Man, come on, man. Make up what your mind. You? Make up your mind because you what either are lying in front of the camera you or you're trying to now realize no. you that you're falling into a hole which you can't get out of. You're 